Last time Bitcoin did this pattern, it took over 2-3 years for the Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency markets to recover and hit new all-time highs. Could we be in another long, brutal bear market? Welcome back guys, it's CryptoRocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. First of all guys, hopefully you haven't been burned too bad. I know loads of people that you know bought in at the highs and got liquidated and down badly. First of all, what I want to say is don't be too down guys. Cryptocurrency is just money. It's going to be here you know in two years three years four years five years time so don't be too hard on yourself make sure you enjoy your life you know there's lots more things that are important in life than money and crypto you know health family they come first and the second thing is guys please do take some accountability if you're new and you lost money then you know educate yourself hopefully if you've been watching our channel i did a live stream even yesterday less than 24 hours ago i shared with you the short trade setups which you could have taken to make money from this and at least if you're completely new to cryptocurrencies hopefully you didn't fomo in or leverage ball and got you know dumped on or, or even worse liquidated so that's the first disclaimer guys you know you know educate yourself don't be too hard on yourself and hopefully learn from it so next time you can make money that's the first thing i wanted to say in this video second thing guys i'll go through all the news that's really important for you then i'll share with you exactly how we're trading it i'll share with you the live short short trade setups we took in yesterday's video you can go watch that video i talk about the the shorts that i'm in and then guys i'll share with you what's my plan now if bitcoin does you know close the weekly below this red zone this looks very similar to what we saw in 2018 and after that breakdown in 2018 it took us almost you know 700 you know two and a half years to for the markets to recover and it was a long very uh, brutal uh, month in cryptocurrency so i'll share with you what i've learned from 2018 if you guys have been following me i was making content here and around this time we got the amazing entries in cryptocurrency and i'm sure in the next i'm not predicting a bear market and saying you know we're gonna dump to 10k like some people are saying like here you know i was conservative took profit same here you know i'll be looking for good positions you know looking for bounces look for some altcoins and look to trade it using our trading strategies most people that are losing money they're just trading with fomo you know they're following a guy says going all in and even myself they might think a rock or selling i'm gonna sell and then you know they don't buy or don't have stop losses it's really important to have a plan what i said at the, at the start of the video so with that with those are out the way and what i'm covering before i get started in the video if you do enjoy this type of content do hit that like button if i get 50 likes in this video i'll do another free live stream on youtube tomorrow so hit that like button and i usually do a live stream every sunday and that's a weekly thing but if you do if you, if, I, if there's 50 likes in this video i'll change my plans to do a live stream for you guys tomorrow as well so guys now let's get started in the video so this support level that i drew was really important and i actually lost money on this so if you guys remember i said i'm buying bitcoin my average entry was around 27 seven and a half K and I was I was holding that trade all throughout this chop expecting it to you know have at least a bigger bounce towards you know low 37k 40k unfortunately we did not see that and then once we see that breakdown that was the exit signal for us and we broke down we pulled back and then we dumped even more and, and personally guys like I've said I didn't think that this it was going to sell off like this and it's been very disappointing and like I've said, if we close the weekly like this and we can't get quickly above 30k, I think we go a lot lower. 20k seems to be the, the zone where a Bitcoin is heading towards. Uh, I'll talk about my buying plans around there. But the way the market is dropping and some of the news I'm going to cover, I don't even think 20k is going to hold. I look to take a trade, same as how I did here. And if it starts looking weak, we'll, we'll look for shorts. You know, two shorts that I shared with you and I'll, I'll recover in this video is Waves and Litecoin because those are two short trade setups that i not only you know posted exactly when i entered but i also made a youtube video four days ago sharing with you the litecoin short setup and shared the wave short setup beforehand as well so not after the fact so i'll cover those two setups let's look at some news and i'll share with you my exact bitcoin plans trading plans which is more important than the price prediction anyone can say i think bitcoin will go to 100k but knowing when to buy exit and actually make money is completely different so i'll share with you my technical analysis trading plan and then i'll also share with you my price prediction for people that are interested 
So the first thing that I want to talk about is the stock market. Stock market is absolutely getting decimated. And like I said, and I'll be honest with something, uh, we've only been experiencing a bullish market. You know, I, st- I got involved in, in trading around 2013, 2014. I was a young guy. I didn't know much about crypto or trading, uh, technical analysis. You know, I started going full time in 2018, 2019. That's when I went full time. And, and, and the market that I've traded, uh, learned to trade in, I was trading oil in this market, is only a bull market. I've never Never experienced a market where you know the market is down like this you know and is 70 60 percent down and it goes sideways for a bit all we know um it's just up only and this is the first time since 2007 where we've broken a huge support and with all the news that are coming out if the stock market keeps crashing guys i don't see bitcoin stopping at 20k technical analysis wise yes bitcoin at 20k is a huge buy but if the stock market keeps crashing this is going to look really bad so you know fingers crossed that in you know, a stock market can find a bottom because at the moment although would like bitcoin to be an inflation hedge bitcoin unfortunately is not an inflation hedge yet bitcoin and the stock market is highly correlated i have made a video explaining the bitcoin correlation and until bitcoin is looked as an inflation hedge where the stock market goes down everything goes down and people still still keep buying bitcoin at the moment i'll quickly do this again I've, i've done this a few times now so you can go watch the previous videos but if you uh, look at not that let me get rid of that if you look at this uh, bitcoin is highly i mean look at that chart that is very similar that bounce is exactly same as the bitcoin chain as long as you know uh, bitcoin is correlated to the stock market and stock market is dumping unfortunately i think bitcoin goes lower so that's the first thing and some of the reasons why um stock market is selling off is obviously what happened there's an amount of money that was printed uh, during the pandemic inflation is the highest that's ever been not ever been in few in 50 years or something crazy we've not seen this much high inflation there's chances and let me share with you some uh, fundamental news as well I, I posted it in the group what i think is uh, let me just quickly bring that up for you guys so uh, there's fomc and um everyone's expecting a 50 basis point increase but if the if there is a 75 point basis uh, increase in interest rates guys that is going to really affect the market and i really hope that we don't see that if we see a big interest rate increase the markets are not going to recover unfortunately um so like I've said, these are some of the things that are dragging the markets down. You know, there's lots of other issues as well with what's happening with Ukraine, food shortages, wars. There's lots of negative headwinds at the moment, and that is really affecting the market. If they can get better, you know, I, I, one of my biggest mentors, you know, he's I've, he's the biggest trader I've seen trade successfully. He's an American guy, and he stopped trading. You know, once uh, the U.S. started to increase interest rates, he just took a holiday. He said, "Look, I'm not trading. You know, I'm a young guy. I can't afford to just you know not trade and just." live off the money i've made you know he's a lot richer but this just puts an importance in the, the important point to learn from that is you know when the interest rates are rising it really affects the stock market in a negative way and you know his decision to just not trade and not be long taking profits on in stocks he mainly trades stocks has been a very very profitable one indeed so that's the first reason and the worst reason i will i will I already i've already mentioned this that you know um you know just buying meme stocks you know nfts everything just up only so dealing with this market is going to be difficult i have got experience in uh, the Can- canadian marijuana markets when they dumped you know i've made uh, i've made money on when the market was going up not as much because i didn't take as much profit i played the 2017 again didn't make much but this move you've seen me trade live some of the coins that we got in you know theta cardano recently luna this 10x 100x coins they were amazing 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 trades and luckily from my previous experience i did take profit um but one thing i like i said at the start of the video i've not dealt with a full-on bear stock market bear market so that's going to be a learning uh, experience for all of us another big news is the bitcoin withdrawals temporarily um, suspended so a, a big network a, um, celsius network is stopped withdrawals and this is what we see when uh, there's bad news and you know they be- came out a few days ago and said look this is an amazing company we can handle billions dollars worth of money and then within less than a week um they've stopped stopped um uh, withdrawals it's an uncomfortable moment there's uh, some contagion risk around crypto more broadly and this is not good news and another reason why uh, this is also from the fallout of luna and you know we don't th- understand the links but all these markets are linked um this company celsius network and i don't have that much dealing with it i got hurt by luna as you guys know i've made lots of videos 
but they lost money because they were very closely related to Luna, especially Anchor Protocol, like myself. And then with the Luna dump, it's really affected them. And they've had to pause withdrawals. And this is not something you want to see. And there's also Binance. You know, Binance, one of the biggest crypto exchanges, they've had to they've had to pause withdrawals as well uh, shortly in midday in the UK due to earlier batch of transactions getting stuck from low transaction fees submitted. So you can understand the effect it has. And I think those are the two important reasons for this dump. Long term is a stock market and everything around it and just the fact that we've gone up so much there's so much leverage in the market but this is the reason hasn't helped i think definitely played a part in the dump that we saw i expected and i'll go into a technical analysis now i expected a little rally before this dump i would have made more money uh, if it had pumped if you guys remember my yesterday's video i was expecting a move up let me get rid of that I was expecting a move up to to short Bitcoin again uh, last night. Unfortunately, we didn't even bounce into that. So my shorting level was around here. So I would have started shorting around 29K. We didn't even jump into that. We started selling off from here. And unfortunately, this broke down around 11, 12 o'clock at my time. I didn't get a chance to short and it just carried on dumping. And I think these news played a huge part in that dumping. So aggressive. And uh, my target was 25K. You can see it came in for a bounce and then the next candle just sold off so it didn't really give me any bullishness to buy 25k that was my plan yesterday short around 29k target 25k and look for a bounce and you know there's been no setup to buy it's just been selling off so what now so am I going to start saying you know keep buying bitcoin no my plan failed I, I wanted to buy bitcoin 25k sorry uh, this level and my average entry was 27 and a half k that was my plan and I wanted to hold as long as we held this once we broke below, that plan got invalidated. So I'm not looking to buy this level now. My next plan is to look to buy around 20K. If Bitcoin dumps there in the next few hours, I don't think it will. Again, hopefully if you guys smash that like button and I'll do a live stream and maybe we'll get some live trade. If Bitcoin comes into here today, tomorrow, I would definitely look for a buy because that would be a massive, massive sell off. RSI at record lows, whatever indicators you look at. There are some hope here that, you know, some big players are starting to accumulate. We're seeing this news. This news we see usually around bottom. So that is a positive news that we're seeing. Another hope PM is that weekly 200 moving average this weekly 200 moving average have predicted previous bottoms so there's another bottom around here uh, if you, i can go go on to this exchange and show you this predicted the last few bitcoin bottoms one here one there one here but look at what it did there it did bounce but it sold off around 30 percent lower so bitcoin could easily dip lower than here but these are some hopium signs that people that are bullish if you ask me if the bottom is in i don't think it is um, i think there's a very small chance 10 20 percent that it bottoms i think it goes lower i would still give that 20k 18k level good chance of being the bottom if the stock market recovers and that is the next level that i'm looking to buy if it gets there so those are the bullishness uh, trades that i'm looking at bearishness i'd look for a bounces and i don't really have a plan uh, on bitcoin to short just yet i want to see more price action but maybe around 25k i could look for a short uh, i'm i shorted other coins because i thought they would dump more and and you know we've seen them dump a lot more so the two coins i'm trade i'm going to share with you these are you know some of the po posts that i made in the rockstar trading group and you can see some of the other shorts people have taken but i'll share with you two trades i took myself live so waves is one you're going to post it this beforehand you can see waves short but bnb was another one I'll, I'll i'll talk talk this one as well and i'll talk about litecoin so that was the trade in waves and the reason you can see when i shorted waves what bitcoin was doing and i went into this uh, last live stream to do you know it's only an hour but you learn more in this video than you know just looking at charts or you know watching a football game or a basketball game so you know if you want to make it in crypto spend some time and watch that but yes our short was here and you can i posted this beforehand and covered it on the live stream so this is not an after the fact like most people say and the reason you can check the short trade i think this four hourly close it was our, our short entry this was first of june and let's see what bitcoin was doing first of june first of june bitcoin was breaking down here so you can see the timing of the trade and the reason why i took it so that was one trade i wanted to share with you uh, other trade is bnb so we shorted bnb and you can go back and check all the reasons why i posted it so our entry was here around 300 once we broke that and i'll, I'll go back and check the date as well and explain put it into perspective with why we shorted it and guys i'm gonna look to short bnb again uh, and i'll share with you a new trade plan on this so bnb short was here it broke down you can check the date again just that first june when things were breaking down uh, and that that was our short hit first target took half off and is dumping 
I would look to short a BNB again if we break this. If we break this 200 level like we have 30k, I think BNB could, I mean, I don't want to say $50, but you can see the amount of room there is for a BNB to dump. So BNB is definitely on my list to reshort. I'll probably exit 75% of my short and then, you know, that 25% I'd leave it on if in case it pumps and then I'll just carry on shorting it if it does add to my shorts if it does if it starts pumping above 300 350 I'll, I'll make sure you subscribe to the channel I'll update you guys on my future videos but below that I've got an alert set I'll post again when I short it in the Rockstar Trading Group. Below there, I would look to short it. So that's another short. And finally, Litecoin. Litecoin, you can go watch this video. I shared this trade setup. So on the YouTube videos, I try to share with you. Obviously, you can't just make videos. It takes time to make videos. But Litecoin is a trade that I shorted and, and you guys can check that. Um, short on YouTube videos I cover my short plans in the Rockstar Trading Group I can post my exits entries and all that good stuff when it happens so the short that we took let me find if I can find my Litecoin short trade or what we can do is you can check going back all these years all my trades so Litecoin if you type in uh, on the Rockstar Trading Group I posted exactly when I shorted my entry so there we go bitcoin this is when i'm shorting it this was my setup when i posted i'm looking to short this breakdown and litecoin was a recent short the reason why i shorted litecoin was it was a huge level and litecoin is a coin i've got you know maybe a bit of connection with because of the market but this is a huge level just pull this across and see the level that it was breaking pullback and this was the sell of that uh, where we shorted and what a dump in in litecoin and then this was the recent short which i just showed you in the telegram group i'll go back to my other chart i don't have my short setup on this chart it is this chart i've got my short setup boom this was the breakdown and i said if if it starts breaking back above there i'd look to long it but for now i'm still short and i'm holding it as long as below 60 and i think litecoin goes to lower and you know that those are the shorts and these are shorts that you can take to protect your wealth or make money uh, the other thing if you're new what i said in the, in the live stream is sell half if you have ten thousand dollars worth of crypto or bitcoin sell half if you believe in it long term the half if it goes back up you can start buying back up higher or you can buy back a lot cheaper and protect your wealth so that those are the two advisors that i gave in the last video and and luckily they worked out well i could have been wrong and i could have had to buy higher or got stopped on my shorts but this time it worked out well so now let's talk about long term then and it's going to be a slightly longer video let me know if you enjoyed these long, longer videos or shorter videos what i am looking for is a litecoin to buy around here if litecoin gets to like 30 and 20 dollars i believe litecoin will have another pump and i've said this last few times and i, I do believe again for due to litecoin halving we're going to have another pump if we come in here so that's a that's a level um that i'm i'm looking to buy in litecoin and we'll see if we have a nice little rally in litecoin the other um zones that i'm looking at for bitcoin i'm looking at this uh, 20k level but what i said is because of the stock market i don't have a level where i just say look i'm just blindly buying some um and then see what happens i'm not doing that now just because of the breakdown in stock market but 20k is the level that i'm looking to buy and i'll keep you guys updated when i buy i do have some orders in but again i'll be monitoring that and before i go to sleep i'll probably look to exit but i am looking to buy this level so you can have some alert set if you can put some small amounts of bid in this is not a leverage trade. this is just a spot trade like my 27k bite the dip and you can leave some orders in uh around this red zone if it gets there today ideally or tomorrow that could be a buy trade signal if you want to uh, call it that so that's the uh, trade i'm looking at the other um trade i'm looking at is potentially a lot lower if stock market breaks down i think um I mean, if you look at this move up, the weekly support, unfortunately, is way down here. And I'm not saying the market will get there, but the weekly support is down at like 10K. So if stock market keeps breaking down, you can't put this out to the question. And if you go using the weekly moving average as well, that is like a 50% dump. And if stock market dumps, we could go even lower. And I'm not saying this prediction, my plan still is at 20K. I said it here, um, my plans to buy here, I bought it. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Then you show me short it. I will use the same plan here i'd look to buy it here if it works amazing if it doesn't we could it go lower and i'll share with you way more short setups to protect your wealth and potentially make money as well so a final thing is my prediction for bitcoin and i tweeted about my thoughts on bitcoin that do you think bitcoin will bottom at 20k or we go lower it's about 100 people voted it and 
most people think that bitcoin goes lower and um i don't think bitcoin just dumps now i do think there will be like a little bit of a short squeeze i'm not sure how to play that bounce uh, maybe if bitcoin gets above 25k i'll look for a short time bounce play but uh, that's just a scalp trade maybe tomorrow live stream i'll share that with you uh, that we're looking at in the rockstar trading group but you know most people are thinking that it goes down which is not great news in my opinion and from my experience in trading if we don't bottom around here I don't think we're going to see a new all, new all-time highs and if you go back and study 2018 which is you know the title of the video if you study this bitcoin dumped here as you can see um and once this level broke cleanly again nothing repeats in the market exactly it took around you can see about 760 days over two years almost three years for the market to recover and this is would be a break in my opinion i mean you could argue 30k break is like that but you know, if we break 20k as well i don't think we're going to see new all-time highs that will take for, not forever but it will take a long time for bitcoin to recover that if it breaks below there will be people losing confidence in this same as this time you know there was only bad news about bitcoin no one wanted no one was talking about bitcoin google trends was at all-time highs and then this is where you know i got my 4k buy that was you know almost life-changing for me if you guys remember people called me a scammer because bitcoin went at 20 percent down and it's almost difficult to predict the bottom that's why i take these positions you know 27k which i'm looking at 20k next if it does work out but this is a really important level so if we don't start putting in a low in around here unfortunately i think we could go lower and it will take a lot longer for the market to recover so that's my predictions guys and, and anyone can make prediction but more importantly i've shared with you the trade plans the short trades that i'm in hopefully they can help you there are a couple of new shorts that i'm looking at as well cardano is one i've shared you bnb it is one potentially theta and and like i said i'll cover all this uh, if we do a live stream tomorrow if not every sunday i do a live stream so make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel it's been a really long day but i really wanted to get this video out because with everything that's going on i, I, I really want to keep you guys on the right side of the market so if you have enjoyed this video guys do hit that like button if you haven't already liked it uh, if you if you do enjoy this type of content subscribe to the channel turn on the notification button i've had some really good comments on my live stream yesterday so maybe Maybe I'll try to do two live streams a week to help you guys out because um, there's lots of nonsense content on the YouTube channel that don't trade. Uh, they don't know nothing about cryptocurrency markets. They just basically, you know, shill you their coins and, you know, dump on you in a bull market, which is really horrible to see. So I would look to make that content for you. So thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, 50 likes, and I'll see you tomorrow with another live stream. So thank you very much. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Thank you very much.